today I have a nail polish collection and it is the China Glaze Sea Goddess collection and if you haven't heard of it, it is all textured polishes and before you're like, ew, textured polishes because I know some of you are like me and really hate them, calm your horses, give me a second, look at them and you may like them just as much as I do. I have tried every single polish so far, I have swatched every one, if you follow me on Instagram you already saw saw them or Facebook. I posted them there and Tumblr. I pretty much posted them everywhere except for shared them here. This is just a little bit delayed. I'm sorry. So if you want to see more than just the little video clip that's going to be inside of this video, then you can head over to my blog which is packapunchpolish.com and you can check out all the pretty photos that I took of these polishes because they do look really nice and it really shows the polishes better than what I'm going to be able to show you in this video. And if you really like this collection, <clears throat> hint hint, you may be able to get this soon. <clears throat> Cough. That's a sign. If you guys don't know what that means, then I'm kind of worried. <laughs> now that I, like, talked forever, let's get into the polishes. So the first one is called Sandala Make You Hala. Best name for a nail polish ever. And it is a white textured base, and it has small, oh boy, blue, pink, green, silver, gold, I think that's it. It has a bunch of different multicolored glitters in the base along with the white texture. So it's super pretty. The only complaint that I have is it takes four coats to be completely opaque. It is kind of sheer. However, even though I'm saying that, you can layer it over a white polish, but it is totally worth the four coats. Trust me, it is so pretty. This is what it looks like in the bottle. It's kind of hard to see the glitter just because my lighting's kind of crappy right now. The next polish is Wish on a Starfish, another super cute name. And it is a light pink polish with some awesome gold shimmer. Like, you know how some polishes have gold shimmer, but it's barely there? Well, this one has so much gold shimmer in it that no one's going to miss it when it's on your nails. Like, people are going to see it. It applies really well. I want to say, like, two, three coats because it depends on how you apply it. But this one looks super pretty with top coat. It is a top coat muncher, so you may have to put, like, two or three coats of top coat on because it's just going to, like, soak into it. So you can see all of the super bright gold shimmer in it. Hands down, it's going to be one of my new favorite summer polishes just because it is so pretty. The next one is Shall We Dance? Question mark. And this is also a pink polish, however this one's a little bit darker and it has some darker glitter in it, like round glitter, maybe hex glitter. This one applies really well also. You can definitely get away with two coats with this. You're not going to need three at all. I'm sitting on my foot and it hurts. <laughs> I definitely prefer this one without the top coat. It is pretty with it, but it just looks so much better with no top coat. So as you can see, it does have some larger pieces of glitter. It, in the camera, it's looking pretty silver. It is pink. You know, maybe, maybe there is a little bit of silver. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell with the pink base and because I suck at describing colors. The next polish is Seahorse in Around and it is this super bright blue and it's basically just a shimmery glitter. There's nothing different inside of it. And this one is so, so bright. You can absolutely get away with two coats for this one. And this one looks super pretty with top coat on too. And it's definitely one of the most sparkly blue polishes that I own now. And it's super bright without being neon because I know a lot of people aren't a fan of neons, but they want a bright color. So if you're looking for 
a bright blue that's not neon, this is it, if you like texture and glitter. The next polish is Tail Me Something, and it is just a super sparkly purple, kind of like the Seahorse and Around, but purple, so it's basically the same thing. And this one looks super pretty with top coat as well. This one, I think I made it in two coats or three coats. I don't know, all of the application stuff's on my blog. And this one is just extra sparkly. Even though it's a textured polish, it is just sparkle craziness. I, I don't know what's going on with me. I used to hate the color purple. And now I'm like, purple everything. I, I don't know. I must be getting old and things are changing. But I love purple now. And the last polish is Teal the Tide Turns. And the only pet peeve that I have about this is I just, I don't think it's teal. I definitely think it's more of a minty color. People are going to argue with it whatever. I, when it's on the nail, it looks like a minty green and it is absolutely beautiful. And it's absolutely beautiful with top coat too. This one, it's so chunky though. It's, it's so hard to apply, but once you get it on, it's definitely worth it. I think I did three coats for this one. I don't know. It's like a minty, minty green with some darker green glitter in it. And teal the tide turns. So as you can see, to me, it's just a minty green. People, like I said, people are going to argue that it is teal, but... But if you can, like, tolerate trying to apply this, then you might be okay. So yeah, that was the China Glaze Sea Goddess Collection. There's only six polishes. They're all super glittery. They are... I... I love them. They're beautiful. This is the spring collection. One of the spring collections. I think there's another spring collection, actually. The Flourish. China Glaze Flourish. City Flourish. Something like that. I don't remember. I looked at the swatches, and they're a lot like the Avant Garden collection. My polish hoarding inside is telling me to get them all, so... I don't know if I want to get them or not. Did you guys see this? I got my rook pierced. I don't know. It's kind of hard to see. If you want me to make a video about that, I will. But I'm not going to talk about it in this video. So I'd love to know which polish was your favorite. Because I... I can't choose. They're all so pretty. Can I? The whole entire collection is my favorite. Because I can't choose. Sorry. But yeah, I definitely recommend this collection. And stay tuned if you want to win one. Because I'm going to be revealing a giveaway video soon. And there will be more than just the polishes. So that's super exciting. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know which one was your favorite. And I will see you guys soon in the giveaway video. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.